Hello and welcome to Retro Game Connect. I'm Dan Mastriani. I'm Ian Butterfield. And today I think we're going to be playing what you could probably consider an early reboot. We're going to be checking out Shinobi on PS2. Okay. Uh, Sh Shinobi is actually from some of the same people that worked on the classic Shinobi games. Uh, you're giving me a blank stare right now because you probably don't know what Shinobi is. <laughs> uh, Shinobi is one of Sega's big arcade franchises. Sega. Yes. Uh, it's pretty big. Uh, I would say late '80s, early '90s. They had a series of Shinobi games, uh, basically side-scrolling action games. You play as a ninja. You throw shuriken in people. If you get close to them, you can hit them with the sword. You got to rescue kids, I believe. And if you unlock the super upgrade, you can get an orbital strike. There you go. So. Uh, then we're you know, in the early 90s, the series was big on Genesis. Uh, they made one for Saturn. It was actually outsourced to uh, a different developer. Because that always helps. Yeah. Uh, I, what I hear is kind of not great, though I still kind of want to play it because it seems to use all digitized graphics and it looks hilarious. <laughs> so I just kind of, I would kind of like to play it someday just because of how cheesy it looks. But I've, I've never I mean, tried that. That's usually copy. why I eat pizza. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> but it basically it disappeared. I mean, at one point, uh, you seem to want pizza a lot. It's just being here. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I almost never actually get pizza when we're done shooting. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, uh, I never mind eating pizza, but. I think I got a burger last time. There you go. So, uh, though eventually you know, they hadn't made another game since, like, you know, at least Sega themselves hadn't made anything Sega. since Genesis. Or the really the team that uh, worked in classic Shinobi games. And uh, that team was uh, basically eventually, uh, that had worked in classic Shinobi games, was eventually reworked into a division of Sega known as Overworks. And Overworks decided to come out with the new Shinobi game. So they actually had input from you know, the creator of Shinobi. But uh, the team is uh, the same people who had uh, worked on Skies of Arcadia on Dreamcast and oh, something else. Quick, quick. Uh, dang, I had that written down. Here you go, yes. Uh, the team also worked on Sakura Wars which is a really big series in Japan that uh, mostly didn't come to the U.S. I think we got one, maybe two, like very late in the PS2 era. Mm. PS2, early Wii. So it kinda, they kind of missed the boat on that, bringing it over. But uh, those were what uh, they'd worked on previously. So they uh, decided that uh, put it on PS2 because that was basically the first system that kind of worked to work on after uh, Sega decided Sega. to discontinue the Dreamcast. I mean, at one point they were thinking about putting Shinobi on Dreamcast, but it didn't happen. The poor Sega Dreamcast. Yes, the poor, poor Sega Dreamcast. Yes, yes, so, you know, PS2 was very popular, so they figured it was a good place to put the game. So basically, you know, they wanted to take one of their big name titles from the past and, and use it to uh, kind of spearhead their new multi platform initiative so they're like Shinobi Shinobi should be a good idea Shinobi yes Obi-Wan Shinobi yeah, so I mean you know the uh, the original creator had been like too busy to, to work on it like in the, the Saturn Dreamcast era so he's like this is, this is the chance to get back to Shinobi and um, basically they wanted to do it in 3D not necessarily because 3D is better than 2D but just because he wanted to kind of move things in a different direction so it was actually, uh, yeah, the, uh, the creator is, uh, I will mention his name is Noriyoshi Oba. So I, I thought it was pretty cool that he, you know, had continuity all the way from the original Shinobi to this new version of Shinobi. So they, they brought some stuff back. They, uh, you know, brought back the double jump, 
but they changed oh, some, double jumps. Yeah, they changed some things around. Like you know, in the because classic physics. Yep, in the classic game, you would attack by throwing a shuriken. Uh, this one, since you're in 3D, uh, they kind of made it the shuriken auto aim, so you wouldn't have to. Yeah, so you wouldn't have to try to line it up in a 3D environment. Uh, they added something. Uh, they have a stealth dash, so you can kind of dash forward, which is kind of inspired by uh, the way that the uh, historical ninja cloning technique. Well, not an actual historical technique, but the the popular image of of ninja, where they have all kinds of crazy special abilities. Ah uh, yes. Yeah, one 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 sort yeah, of mythic ninja. Yeah, one of the mythic ninja things is uh, the you know split body technique where they create doubles and so they use this big stealth dash that was inspired by it. Mm. Uh, since you were going to be looking at the character from behind a lot, they kind of decided to give him the big flowing scarf to make him a bit more visually interesting. A little more uh, Tom Baker. Yes. Doctor Who. Reference. Yeah. Yeah, so they wanted to actually, they wanted him to have a cool-looking silhouette. So he wanted to be very recognizable. And was, they were saying he's actually inspired by characters like Spawn and Batman. So his parents are dead. Well, actually, uh, <laughs> I think they are. Yeah, so uh, I think that is most of the stuff I want to cover. Uh, lastly, I did just want to mention... Yeah, there you go. They, uh, since they're moving to 3D, they made the combat more like up close, more focused on the sword. Nice. Whereas you know, again, in the previous games, you would 90% of the time just been throwing the shuriken. Shuriken. Yes. Yeah, so they thought it'd be pretty exciting, and also um, there's a feature in the game. Uh, basically, your sword is evil, and if you don't kill people uh, for a long enough period, it'll start draining your life. Oh. And the reason they included that mechanic is because they wanted to keep the action going. They didn't want people to just be wandering around searching nooks and crannies. They wanted people to get in there and keep mixing it up. You cannot play it like you play Fallout then. No. Search every nook and cranny. Yeah, they didn't want people like avoiding combat. They didn't want people being like, uh, I don't, I'm not going to fight this guy. I'm just going to run past him. They were be like, no, you're going to kill him or your sword's going to kill you. Yeah, so also it's, it's got interesting stuff. It's got wall running, which I guess they, they wanted to do more with combat while you're wall running, but they weren't really able to get into the first game. Another cool thing is uh, the character is actually designed by, uh, let's try and get his name right, is Makoto Tsuchibayashi, who did the character designs for Devil May Cry. Mm. Yeah, he uh, worked for Capcom for a little while, and then he went freelance. Capcom. Yes. Yeah, so while he was with Capcom, he did the designs for Devil May Cry. And uh, after he went freelance, he worked with Sega on a couple games, including this one. Nice. So that's pretty good. Uh, there's also a sequel named Nightshade, where you play as a female ninja. Hmm. So that's neat. Neato. Yep. And so, you know, it's really crazy stuff. So... Yeah, I found some interesting stuff, so I think we should go ahead and get into it. This one is a pretty hard game, so we're going to do our best. All right, so <laughs> confession time. Uh, I played the demo. I liked the demo, so I bought the game, and I never actually got around to playing it. Oi. Insufficient space. Uh-oh. Let's swap memory cards. What's the point of having two memory card slots if it doesn't just say, well, let's use the other one? Yeah, a lot of games only will, will only read off the first memory card slot, and I don't know why. Oh, remember the days when having that 8 megabyte card with your PS2? Was yeah, insane. that seemed like a lot. And then I, I remember I got a 16 megabyte. And that was That's like, fun. whoa. <laughs> like, yeah, now you got huge hard drives. Wow. Now I have 500 gigs installed in my Xbox One. Yep. And I'm going to need more. Oh, yeah. And there are later bundles that... Uh, because for some reason, you need to install the entire game. Yep, for every game. And then you still use your disc. Yeah, well, that's, I think, just copy protection. If you yeah. had the digital version, obviously, you wouldn't need the disc. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, so uh, 
parental warning. This one's kind of violent. I just don't get the point of installing it. Ah, uh, no. Installing right. the entire game. Take a quick look at the options. I'll say all yes. Uh, this game is set in Japan. I'm going to be a huge nerd and play in Japanese. And let's take a quick look at the buttons. Sword Shuriken, dash, jump. Okay. Yes, you got some uh, ninja magic that you can use to blow guys up. Uh, jumping on the circle. Yeah, lock on. Weird. Yeah, I guess though it's because you want to make a lot of use of the dash. Because you got to move fast, you know? Lock I on. Go fast. Yes. Hey, Sega game. Sega. Alright, I'm finished. Done. Chilling. Uh, I'm guessing I don't have any extras yet. Nope. Uh -huh. There's some neat stuff you can unlock, though. Um, you can unlock alternate characters. Uh, and also there's a... Uh, like James Bond. There's a Joe Musashi costume. This is the last unlockable. Is basically you get to play as the character from the original Shinobi. Oh, nice. Okay, this is a little weird. Did they change the lip flaps to match the English and then you <laughs> can set it back to Japanese? Yeah, so they gave it a big old story this time. Apparently they have to uh, fight each other to the death. To succeed as clan leader. So, your guy is the dark haired guy. So, he's got the crazy mask on later. I speed ninja action. Four years later. Four years later. Oh wait, I'll say it like the narrator from Spongebob. Four years later. Yeah, so that uh, that looks like a problem. So we'll see uh, how quickly I can... I can... Bust it out. But uh, a big mechanic in this game is uh, basically you want to chain kills. You use a shadow dash to move from, from enemy to enemy. And if you kill them fast enough, you'll uh, get a little scene where you uh, sheath your sword and they all like get cut in half at once. And that's actually a very important mechanic because uh, the more enemies you kill in the chain, the more damage you do. So to beat bosses, you, you have to, to you, you have to yeah you have to take out all the little small fry guys and then hit the boss last and com complete the combo. So we'll we'll see if I can pull it off. This though is a really difficult game. Uh, the, uh, from what I understand, the first two levels not too bad, but eventually you get to a point where you have to like wall run and chain kills to enemies to not fall in pits. And this is this is a uh, can be a real controller breaker. So we still looks like we still got some cutscenes going here. Yeah, as you can see, he's got his crazy mask on now. I, I do like his design. Mm. The four eyes and the, the crazy scarf. And of course, it's all about awesome ninja stuff. Oh. Just jumps out of the helicopter. What are you, Captain America? Yeah. No, he jumped out of a plane. Captain America just jumps out of things. He does. But yeah, so this is how he slows himself down. With his sword. You got a big old moon for effect, I guess. And okay, I think we are now real time, so I am about to fight some guys. Or is it still pre rendered? It's hard to tell. Uh, 
Alright. No, we're... Oh, well, okay. Really, I'm not playing it. I don't know if there's any sort of tutorial thing. It's showing me the stuff I can do, I guess. Yeah, so apparently your enemy is reanimating the dead. Awkward. Yeah, you know, something like that. Stage 1A. Alright, so I don't know if this is a sub-level thing. There you go. That is one long scar. It is a crazy scar. Yeah, just one guy, I guess. Alright, so not enough guys yet to do a big old combo, but... Yep. So as you can see, I can just run along the wall. Because, like, why not? Oh, four dollars. Yeah, well. I need to find more enemies. Ah, uh, dang. I didn't get them. Here we go. So I slashed him. Uh, there are there are things like hidden around in areas, but you can't spend too much time looking for it, or else you start losing health. Yeah, exactly. You know, I got some stuff here. Uh, they're like little hidden coins and such that'll uh, you can use to unlock secrets. Yeah, this is hard to get used to. Jump on circle. Yeah. Uh, I just want to see if there's something up here, but there's not. Time to keep moving. Just Cut keep everything. Swimming, just keep swimming. All right, so it looks like I have to get two guys here. There we go. Uh -huh. I killed them all. Sucks to be them. It does. What can I say? I'm awesome. Uh, no, we're out of time. Okay, one thing is the camera is a little uh, problematic, I think. Shoot again. Okay. Run on the wall. To avoid that thing. Why not? And uh, I think they've done a triple jump there. So it is a little difficult to uh, kind of like break out and get to the next guy. Sometimes. It's funny because they just kind of freeze. Yes. They're waiting for you to complete your combo. Yes. Oh, there you go. Here's the secret. I just get the coin. Oh, here, much guys kill. Ah! Ah! There we go. And they're all dead. That's entertaining. Yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely better here than it was in the demo. There was a lot of problems with the camera angle in the demo. Isn't there always stuff? Yeah. It's like you'd be doing the combo and uh, you wouldn't even be able to see the guys. You'd just... Uh, guys dying because the uh, camera angle would be wrong. Though I assume this gets harder later on because they're... Uh, they have more health. Yeah, see, sometimes you get angled like this. And you're like, what's happening? Dramatic close-up. Obviously. Clearly. 
corner here. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to go, but this is where I'm going to go. Nope. All right, I seem to go on This scarf is always three minutes late wherever he goes. Yes. <laughs> It is uh, quite a long scar. Alright, murder them. Right, murder! So, so I'm, I'm wondering if these uh what I need to get for a tate or if it's uh, what I need to get the next. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, there was the last enemy. Oh no. I Uh, annoying to just like miss one guy and not get the big combo. Yeah. Oh, it's a tank! It is a tank. Yeah, I didn't get it. I didn't know where the, uh, here's one. I don't know where the next guy is. Yeah, so I don't know. I didn't get enough gas. Yeah, that's disappointing. Eh? Yes. But I had made it to the first level. I think. Am I gonna be fighting? Here we go. So this is a call back to the original Shinobi. Uh, where the first boss is a helicopter. <laughs> I hope there's someone piloting it. Oh, no, I, I assume there is. It's not just a sentient helicopter. Important part, though, is I have to find guys to murder. And then I, I can attack the helicopter. So yeah, finding guys I think is going to be a problem here. I'm not seeing him. Uh, Oops. Oh. I seen him bounce off the helicopter place. Yeah, so I don't know. I am trying to catch this guy. Hit him. Electric shuriken. I don't know if I continue my combo or not. I think there's something over here. I don't know what that takes over now. Alright, I think he's mainly just deading guys. I don't know if I'm supposed to be. Yeah, I don't know if I'm like supposed to be uh, using those missiles to block on them or what. You trick me. No, that's SSX. Oh, wait. Yeah, <laughs> All right, well, I hit him. I don't know how much, did you see how much damage I did? Yeah, it does a decent amount of damage. So like the more guys I can hit ahead of time, the more damage I do to them. Alright, Ninja Magic. I forgot. So get underneath it and use your magic. I will perhaps try that. Oh, not close enough. Oh, now he used it up. That's awkward. Yeah, that's a little awkward. Oh, yeah! Up in the air, and I have a hard time getting to him. Alright, so I think I got a little extra damage there from uh, from killing that first guy first. Cutscene. Yay! Again. Whatever. Yeah, this game is pretty fast moving. It's a little, a little hard to keep the uh, intelligent commentaries. <laughs>
So I had a 100% oh, kill, that's nice. Oh, only rank C. Awkward, awkward. I didn't get whatever the Makimono is. Uh, yeah. Well. Doing okay so far, but. It is kind of risky. Alright, so I can't translate all that, but I'm pretty sure Aku is evil. Aku Aku? Yes. Samurai Jack. Yes. Samurai Jack. Yeah. The past Samurai Jack. That's exactly where they were going with that, by naming him Aku. As that was pretty, that was a pretty blatant, uh, Tries to undo the future of that is Aku. Samurai Jack, man. That was yep. an underappreciated show. Yep. Samurai played by a black guy. Yep. Phil Lamar. And you know what? He was also on uh, Mad TV. And, uh, and he got his. Wasn't he the guy who got his head blown out in Pulp Fiction? I don't know. John Travolta's car. John Travolta and Samuel Phil Jackson's Lamar. car. Hmm. I think that was Phil Lamar. Really? That I'm not sure of. But I know he uh, does a lot of voice acting, actually. Because isn't he uh, Hermes on Futurama? Or yes. He well, he's, he's like half the voices on Futurama. Yeah. Yeah, he's Hermes. So, yeah, I am thinking of the right guy. Yes, you he are. He is in Pulp Fiction and gets his head blown okay. to pieces. Cool. Get stoned. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like there's something I want up there, so let's see if I can get it. I like the music. Alright, I got it. Whatever and I murdered somebody. Oh, uh, I got a scroll with some ninja magic. Ooh. That could have been risky. That could have been death. Yeah. All right, now check it out. Wall run time. Wall run. Oh. Or not. That awkward moment when you don't know how to wall run. Yeah. I ain't cool. That's a problem. Hmm. Interesting. I don't see it. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Ah, oh, that was a waste. All right. Do you have to wall run? Yeah, I clearly have to wall run. Ow. I just don't know why I, I fell and did not continue to wall run. It's a problem. Alright. See, if I fall off the wall, I stop running. So that's, uh, that's a problem. Alright. I keep thinking I'm about I keep thinking I'm about to fall off and I, I jump again to try to recover and it just gets me uh Yeah. Take that, whoever that was. Sword in your face. Ew. Oh, I, got another one. I fear that I'm probably not doing this well enough. We'll see. You can dash to these guys. I think later on uh, you have to. 
Oh. Oh, no. Awkward. I'm having trouble, a lot of trouble with that wall run. I keep screwing it up. All right, let's try this again. Ah, let's get that diversion control. I don't hold them. I like that your arms and things slowly fill up with shuriken as you get more and more. Oh, oh nice. That was a nice detail. It is. It's actually represented on your character model. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's fun. Alright, so I'm on the wall. Got to the other wall. And I didn't, I didn't grab it. I'm confused. All right. Okay. Hold the button or what? All right. Do I have to be running in the direction? Do you, you see what's happening to me here? Yeah. There you go. There you go. All right, there we are. I'm not really sure what happened there, but whatever. What? Yeah, it's an interesting outfit she had. Oh, come on, come on, come on. No, looks like we're not gonna get it. Well, that's embarrassing. All right. Yeah. I miss a shuriken, but I don't really care. This is what I really want. Uh -huh. This time, I get the shuriken. There we go. All right. Yeah, I succeeded where I failed before. Some enemies I'm supposed to kill? I guess not. The wall on works that time. I don't know. So the walls of the uh, PlayStation doesn't feel like drawing. Apparently, I can't run on. Awkward. Yeah. All right, let's find some more guys to murder. Yes, yes. Murder, oh. murder, murder. Oh. Didn't count. I thought I did a good job. You love all that murder. It's always fun. There we go. And they're all sliced in half. Ooh. That was a little risky. Really? I'm gonna get a kill. Alright, how do I get up to there? That should be interesting. Oh, come on. Yeah. So here we're seeing a bit of a problem with the game. You notice I am now back at the beginning of the stage. Again. Yeah. This game has no checkpoints. Hmm. I hate that. Yeah, so basically I have to do all of this in one, in, uh, one go. <sighs> Screw up even once. And he's dead, Jim. And you gotta start over. No matter how long the stage is. I'm not sure how I'd be able to get to kill him in the range of the other guys, I don't know. Yeah, nice. a little better than, get a little better at the wall. This is not going as well as I'd like. 
Oh, she just kind of fell to pieces. Well then. Don't we all? Yeah. That's a win for me, I'm gonna say. Better killing them at this time. He sure does have a lot of shuriken on his arm, I gotta say. Alright, you know what? Uh, in the interest of sparing our audience, I am not going to go for the hidden stuff from this point on. Woo! I think that might be a wise decision. Because I keep screwing up and dying, and I don't think you want to see me doing the same area of the level over and over again. That's just a guess. Slice and dice! Yes, slice and dice! Not dicey enough. I'm sorry. Now you're all dead. Bam. And I'd like that crystal, but I'm not gonna... gonna uh, I think you need again. that to unlock the next area. Yeah, I just... Is there a ground here? Yeah. Okay, good. Like I gotta say. I was concerned. Okay. Here's what I was trying to teach me to do. Oh man, I'm not moving faster. King nuts with wings! The topping I've never heard of. Yeah, that was awkward. So, uh, ideally, you can uh, dash between all those guys and kill them in a row. And I was having trouble with that, so that's a problem because uh, there are parts later in the game where that is your only uh, only platform. There's the guys you're killing. Oh my. Yeah, so you have to dash between them. I know it's uh, the... I mean, I can see you this game can definitely be tough, but also it can be fun, so... Yeah. Oh, awkward. I'll just assume they died. Everybody dead. Oh, she survived. No. Now she's dead. Yeah, having jump on circle is still kind of weird. Maybe they could uh, put like a dash on one of the triggers or something, you know? Yeah. I'm having a lot of trouble with dashing, like after I, I take somebody out. Which is uh, a problem because it's kind of important. We need to level it up. I don't think this game has like arcs like that. Oh, I hate that. I think it's one of those things where you have everything from the start, so we'll just get good at it. That feels weird. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to find the lock on, but you know, I think actually that's my problem. I'm not using uh, lock on. I think it's actually on R1. That's what's screwing me up. Oh, that's weird. Yeah. So Fine. we'll. Uh, Take this guy on, and uh, I think that'll be that. お前を殺せば、溺れは全滅。熊の神社にいる拳も、もうじき死ん。師匠までも。ああ、オッケー。この苦しみ、お前にも味わわせてくれる。I think we just got some important information there. Indeed. Skill up. Oh, the game is just telling me I gotta get better. And you die. You did, right? Alright, that's right. Okay. 
Shuriuken! Now, yeah, looks like I can't change it from here. I died. Oh, wow. <laughs> Let's try that again. You see, I have to hold this to lock on. Then you can throw shurikens at him. I can, but you just block them. Jerk. Oh. He only lost part of his soul. Wow. All right, one more try, and then we're going to have to... I think then we're going to call it quits. Really? All right. Yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> Awkward. So that's pretty hard. <laughs> it looked difficult. It looked very uh, Ninja Gaiden difficult. Yeah, it actually came out around the same time. So it's, well, a little bit before. So that's, that's interesting. Uh, they were so close. There's kind of a revival in Ninja games around that time. Yeah, and they even look similar. Mm. I feel like I made a tactical error in having uh, hold for lock on instead of press in toggle. I yeah. think that was an option, wasn't it? Uh, I, I believe. I, I think there was an option. I don't know. If it was, I definitely should have had the, the press because holding it made it kind of difficult to do the other things. Mm. And also, you have to press like the R2 button to to switch who you're locked on to. And obviously, you know, I would have wanted it to be locked on to the smaller enemy so I could hit him with the final hit and get the most damage. Yeah. So I think I messed up there not having uh, that setting. Uh, other than that, so, I, yeah, I think a, a lot of the trouble I was having... It's fun, though. I think the problems I was having dashing between guys is because I wasn't using the lock-on. Mm. That's why I wasn't able to dash, and that's why I wasn't able to, you know, chain upward, so... Gotta get them chained. Yeah, I think part of that was, was me not playing properly. Uh, it's definitely a game that needs to practice. Chains. There you go. It is not easy. Bling up. Well, I, I had to skill up like the, like the neon sign yeah. is telling me. Skill up. It was pretty rough. I mean, I was, wasn't even out of World 1. No. I was on stage 1B. Also, I guess, buzz, you, know, buzz. you know, being locked on would explain why I was having so much trouble getting up with that helicopter. True. Yeah. So this is the game before, like, tutorials explain everything to you. So you kind of have to either read the manual... Which no one has anymore. Yeah. No, I think I... Uh, well, no, I mean, like, the, the games yeah, don't no. come with them anymore. Yeah. I still have... Uh, I like how uh, apparently whoever uh, owned it didn't register it with Sega. I still got that. Who needs to register it with Sega? Yeah. I still have the registration. Sega. So it looks like it's a black and white manual, which makes me sad. Aww. Yeah, it's always hard to... Hard to see when I'm playing those, you know, it's like, what, what is this a picture of? I, yeah. I don't know, so it's, uh, the game is available as a PS2 classic. Oh, nice. On uh, PlayStation 3, so if people thought this looked interesting, they can check it out for themselves for like 10 bucks. And Ninja Slash everything. Yeah. You uh, definitely have to be on your game. Fast reflexes. Do not crazy, play yeah. this game drunk. No, you won't do very well. Uh, I have heard uh, it just gets harder. It's, uh, it's a controller I, breaker. I didn't even play the new Tomb Raider after drinking. Mm. I was just like, no, I need to be paying attention for that. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's a tough game, but, you know, I like the style. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I think mechanics are interesting. It looked, yeah. it looked fun. Yeah. I think it's worth a try. Yeah. 
So if you like seeing me flail through uh, Shinobi, please uh, give this episode a like. Uh, if you want to make sure you don't miss future episodes, please subscribe to our channel. I've been Dan Masterini. You can catch me on Twitter at, at NewTypeCola. I'm Ian Butterfield. You can find me on Twitter at Ian G. Butterfield. We have a Facebook page, facebook.com backslash RetroGameConnect. We have a Tumblr, RetroGameConnect.tumblr.com. We have a joined Twitter, at RetroGameCNCT. It's kind of funny that CT's in there, actually, mm. because we're from Connecticut. Yeah. It's almost as if I planned it that way, which I, I actually didn't. But I, Retro Game Connecticut. Yeah, that stuff keeps happening. Like our 13th episode was on Friday the 13th. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> it's completely by accident. <laughs> um, please feel free to talk to us. Yeah. Because we, we like being talked to. We're lonely. Yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm pretty sure I have like three text messages waiting for me on my phone. You crave attention. How's that? Is that better? Oh yeah, that that I definitely I am a I am a I. A, that one works for you. Okay. Stage blank. I'm not going to say that word on this show. I I, I very much enjoy. Mm. Give me your attention. But then they won't be paying attention to me. All right, well, make sure you pay attention to the next episode of Retro Game Connect.